This video will give you some of the basics of juggling clubs as well as passing clubs. When you first start to juggle clubs, you want to hold the club in the middle of the handle. To get used to flipping the club with both hands, flip the club from your right hand to your left hand and from your left hand to your right hand. The next step I recommend is trying to juggle two balls with one club. Start with the two balls in one hand and the club in the other hand and throw a ball first and then it's just like juggling three balls except one of the objects you will now have to flip. This will take a little while to get used to but it's much easier than juggling all three clubs. After a few minutes, take a break and try juggling two clubs. Put one club in each hand and try to do the basic right-left catch-catch that you learned with balls. Make sure you practice it both ways. One more step before going for juggling all three clubs, and that is practicing the start and the finish, which are commonly neglected. So I say start with two clubs in one hand and one club in the other, and just throw one club back and forth from right hand to left, from left hand to right, so that you practice starting with two clubs in one hand and catching two clubs in one hand. This is actually a little tricky, but I think it will save you a lot of time with three clubs if you learn this first. Once the start and the finish feel comfortable, then you can try juggling all three clubs. Try to stay relaxed. You may want to juggle a little higher than I'm doing here to give yourself time to aim each throw. You can stop at any time just by catching two in one hand, but for a slightly flashier finish, throw a double straight up and hand the club across and catch the club in an empty hand. It's a little flashier and you don't have to worry about smashing your finger between the two clubs. Passing can be done many different ways. The main difference is the frequency of the passes, that is the number of self throws between passes. If every four throws you make a pass, we call that a four count. You can count this pass, two, three, four, pass, two, three, four. If every second throw is a pass, this is called a two count. Pass, self, pass, self, pass, self. And if you pass every throw, that's called a one count. Pass, 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 pass. None of the throws go to yourself. For the first step in passing clubs, I recommend throwing one club back and forth with a partner. Pass with your right hand straight across to your partner's left hand. Your partner will then do a self throw and then throw it back to you. This is a two count pattern because every two throws is a pass. You have a self throw and then a pass. Self throw, pass. The next step is with three clubs. The person who is holding two clubs will start with a left hand self and then a right hand pass. Then the other person will have two clubs and they can throw a left hand self and a right hand pass. Here's another exercise with three clubs. This time, the juggler with two clubs starts with a right hand pass. The partner responds with a left hand self throw. The pattern then repeats with the other juggler starting. Now add one more club so that every hand has a club. We can now combine the two three club exercises. One juggler starts with a left self right pass. The other juggler responds with left self right pass. Take turns starting. When both jugglers can do this, it's time to add another club. One person will start and then it just keeps going. It's always 
Left self, right pass, left self, right pass, left self, right pass. Practice this for a while until you can get at least 10 passes each. Congratulations, you are now passing a five club, two count. When you add a sixth club, both jugglers will start with a pass at the same time. And then it's just the same thing, just a little faster. Try to relax, go slow, and make good passes to your partner. Whenever two jugglers pass together, it is common to synchronize the start with an up-down. Both jugglers raise their right hands up and then down, and then start passing. Starting with a pass is called a fast start. You can also start with a slow start, which is starting by juggling to yourself and then passing the third right hand. But any start where both jugglers do the same thing will work. Now here's an exercise to start learning to pass in a four count. Have your partner pass a club to you from their right hand to your left hand. You will then make three self throws and then a right hand pass back to your partner. This may take a few tries to get comfortable receiving a pass from your partner and going straight into juggling by yourself. Take turns trying this until you can both do it comfortably. Now you're ready to try a four count together using five clubs. The juggler with three clubs will start with a right hand pass. Then take turns doing four throws each, three self throws and one pass to your partner. When this feels comfortable and you can do it about 10 times in a row, you can try it with six clubs. Again, both jugglers should synchronize their start with an up down. A common exercise once you get the basics down is called a 3-3-10. This is a short routine which is usually done with a slow start followed by three passes in a six count which is every third right hand throw followed by three passes in a four count every other right hand throw followed by ten passes in a two count every right hand throw. Add a nice finish on the end and you've got a nice little performance. Another option is one count passing. Today let's do left, right, left, right. Left, right. One person will pass diagonally while the other person passes straight. One, two, three, four. Straight, diagonal, straight, diagonal, straight, diagonal. Then all four hands get practice passing. Next, try one count passing with three clubs. Again, one person will throw diagonally and one person will throw straight. In this pattern, you always throw to the empty hand. And both jugglers alternate throwing with their right and left hand. For the five club one count, one person throws diagonal, the other person throws straight and both jugglers alternate throwing right, left, right, left. To do a one count with six clubs, both jugglers throw straight. The three clubs on one side don't mix with the three clubs on the other side. That means you can practice each side separately. When both sides feel good, you can put them both together. You can do this alternating, right, left, right, left, right, left. Or you can throw both hands at the same time. Remember to relax and have fun practicing.